In this video, we talk about the longevity of Tesla cars. First, let's clarify one concept, charging cycle. The lifespan of lithium ion battery is defined by the number of charging cycles. One charging cycle is not equal to one charging action. Here's a direct quote from Apple's website. You will complete one charging cycle when you used and discharge a amount that equal to 100% of your battery capacity, but not necessarily all from one charge. Here's one example. You have a fully charged battery and you use 75%. And at night, you charge back to 100%. And next day, you're using either 25% or 50% or whatever number. But by the time you use 25%, adding to the previous 75% usage, you'll finish one charging cycle here. Elon commented on the battery cycles of Tesla cars in 2019. He mentioned that's about 1,500 cycles. Let's take a look about battery decay over time. And these two graphs are from two different websites, but they're talking about the same thing. And this graph is about Tesla Model S and X mileage versus remaining battery capacity. And the dash line is 80% capacity. So we see at 250,000 kilometers, the battery capacity is still at, still at about 90%. The trend is very stable, going down slowly. And this graph is about Model S, X, and Model 3. We see at about 200,000 miles, this is miles, the, the battery capacity is still at 90%, going down very slowly. So we see the Tesla's battery's performance is very stable, and uh, they decay at a linear fashion. Now let's study some models from Tesla. The first one is the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. This is the lowest trim, or the cheapest one you can get from Tesla. According to the website, it, it has a range of 263 miles. Let's make a few assumptions. First assumption is 80% battery capacity left after 1500 cycles per Elon, and we assume a 15% discount on non-ideal driving condition. Then the total mileage is this way. This is the initial range, and this is the end of life range, 80%. The average multiplied cycles and multiply the discount factor. You got 302,000 miles. So let's assume a 15,000 to 20,000 miles per year driving. So the expected life is about 15 to 20 years. And what about ICE cars? According to the website or Google, a typical passenger car or ICE cars have a range of 200,000 miles. And the life is about 12 years. So we can see 200,000 miles and here's a 300,000 miles. So we can say the lowest trim of Tesla lasts 1.5 times of average ICE car's life. The next model we look into is Model 3 long range version. The range is about 353 miles according to the website. Then we use the same assumptions. And we got 405,000 miles. So this that's about 20 to 27 years. And the range is about two times of lifetime of ICE range. So let's look back about Elon's comments. Our calculation showed that the Model 3 has a battery life to support 300 to 400,000 miles. And Elon mentioned uh, up to 500,000 miles, and that probably need a really good care of the battery. So give a very minimum battery decay and close to ideal driving condition. You can get there. 353 multiplied by 1,500 cycles, no decay and uh, no discount. You got more than half million, actually 530,000 miles. Another way of thinking this one is uh, if you can run more than 1,500 cycles, you can get to half million, half million miles as well. 
So Elon mentioned that the changing battery is not super expensive, $5,000 to $7,000 now. But what about 10 or 15 years later when you really need to change the battery? I'm not sure the battery will be available. The same battery will be, may not be available. What do you think? Leave some comments on this one. And my guess is that there will be way advanced new batteries. But if market, if there's a market, then the smart people will invent some adapters to apply the new kind of a battery to the old models. And Elon in this Twitter confirmed that the driving unit and also body uh, have much longer life, about 1 million miles. We studied three more models, at least in the table. So model Y, model X, and model S, long range version. And there are uh, multiples about the uh, life. It's about 1.8, 2.1, and 2.4 compared to the ICE cars. So you can say from 1.5 to up to 2.4, roughly, averagely two times of ICE cars life. Another point worth to mention is the good residual value of Tesla models. Without accidents, ICE cars are typically decommissioned due to engine issues. For example, failures in the smog test. Because the car will not be allowed on the road anymore, so it's lost its core functionality. So only very limited salvage value remain. On the other side, EV doesn't die suddenly. It just becomes less and less satisfactory due to the decay of the range or battery. It could be 80% remain or even with 70% range remain, it's still not too bad. And this table lists the five models we studied, and those are the initial range, and this is 80% remain miles, and this is 70% remain on miles. And you see the lowest number is 184 compared to a brand new 2021 Nissan Leafs, of which offer 149 miles. And it said on the website, the impressive range, impressive power. So I would say 184 miles, also very impressive. It could be even more impressive. So after the main life of the, or 80 or 70% decay, I mean, 80 or 70% remain on the battery, the car could be used for other users in different scenarios without compromising HSE. And you could also change Pay some money and change the battery for better performance. Warranty is an important part of the vehicle. So we can compare the Tesla's and ICE, uh, average or typical ICE's warranty on hardware. So the bumper to bumper warranty for Tesla is four years and or 50,000 miles. ICE typically is three years and 36,000 miles. For the airbag or other supplemental Restraint system, Tesla offer five years and 60,000, and ICE cars is sh shorter. For the powertrain and battery on Tesla side, which is engine on the ICE side, so Tesla offer eight years, depending on the models, 100 to 150,000 miles, and ICE cars typically offer five years to or uh, 60,000 miles. So Tesla offer much longer warranty, hardware warranty than the ICE cars. On software side, Tesla have even more clear advantage. The OTA keep your cars always up to date and it's free and they serve much longer than ICE vehicle software support. But how long? I don't know the info about Tesla. If you know, leave some comments. And as the analog, Microsoft support each Windows and Office product for about 10 years. So 10 years software support OTA is not too bad. It could be longer. Here's the summary of the video. Tesla models have much longer life than the average ICE cars. It could be 1.5 to 2.4 times. And Tesla offer much longer warranty compared to the typical ICE cars in both hardware and software. Even after the main lifespan expire, the Tesla models still have a good residual value because the core functionality and HSE features are still there. So it could be ratified with battery replacement or continue to use and reduce capacity. 
And Tesla models are longevity assets with much lower operating costs. And that's very important. There are some side effects about longevity cars. In long term, the longer vehicle life could lead to the reduction of annual auto sales. The market could be smaller. And widely application of robot taxi could also lead to reduction of annual auto sales. Economic growth could lead to growing demand for cars, especially for developing countries. So for the developed countries, the car auto sales per year could reduce in the future. Thanks for watching and welcome to subscribe.